Hello everybody! So this is the next video and we're going to make a willow heart this time. And it's quite simple and there's probably enough willow in your kits to make at least two. So it's basically two D squashed D shapes. Okay, it's quite simple. Right. You should have been received in the post a very exciting willow kit. So open it up and you'll have some coiled willow inside. Now because it's been all coiled up in the bag, it's going to be all a bit of a strange shape. So take it out of the bag, wrap a wet or damp towel around the willow and lay it in an empty bath or outside just for an hour or two just to get some of the moisture back into the willow to kind of rejuvenate it a bit. Okay. You'll need to know that the long willow stick or withy has a butt end where it's been cut and a tip end. Okay. And we'll be using those terms. So to start with, you get one stick and you need to make a bend about 20, 21 centimetres. Or if you've got a dessert spoon and you want to use that as your measuring stick, if that makes it a bit easier. Okay, it's just as a rough guide. So then you bend it to form a 90, 90 degrees. Let's move that out of the way now. And you're going to swoop the willow around to form your D shape. And then you're going to secure it this side. So it's going to go over the butt end of the willow, up, underneath, over the top of this soft piece of willow, then back over the top of the butt end willow and then you're going to use the tip a bit like a needle and go through the hole and pull it tight and that will secure your D. Now you're going to need to make one exactly the same ish a bit similar very similar as close as possible. So here we go again this time I'm just going to measure it from the first D. Okay. Sweep that round. And if we can get them as close as possible. going over the top again, exactly the same process, through the middle, over the thinner part of the willow, up through, over the thick butt end of the willow. And this one, as you can see, is a bit of a strange one, so I'm just going to get my secateurs, or you can do this with a pair of scissors, I'm just going to cut the end off. It's got a nice point. And that one is then going to go through that hole. Pull that nice and tight. Okay, so we should now have two D shapes, which will be a bit out of shot there. But what we're going to do is we're going to get your two knots and you're going to overlap one on top of the other. You're going to move them towards each other like this so that you've got these two bends on top of each other and that's the bottom of your heart. Then we're going to attach here and here using the existing willow. So I'm going to bring this one up and over and wrap it around a bit like it's string going to go all the way around through under the holes and put 
it nice and tight and I'm going to go back through another hole. Just hold it in position. You can keep tucking it in if you want, but I think that's made that one nice and strong. Then the same with this side. around like string. And tuck that through the hole. Put it nice and tight. I might trap that one in between those two as well. There we go. So we have the basis of our heart shape. Then we're going to add another word stick. This time we're going to reinforce this part of the willow here. So I'm just going to tuck it underneath. Sort of position it under the knot there. And then this one is going to sweep around and wrap. Kind of weave it around the willow. We're going to keep going all the way around. around and then push the butt end, no not the butt end, the tip end, back through a hole to secure it. Okay so that's that D reinforced. Then we're going to get another one. So all the way around. Back to where you started. Wrap it around a few times and then tip end into a hole and pull tight. So now you've got your two D's are reinforced. So at this point you can kind of manipulate it so it's looking as equal as it can do. Then we're going to add another one, sliding it in to the bottom point of your heart and we're going to wrap that around as well. I'm going to slide it in here. Well, we've got these wrappings already done. And again, back around this oops, D shape. started. And the last one. Tap that in to get it started there. Sweep it around and then weave it over and under.
Okay, stop thinking. I'm just going to trap that on by. Okay, so there you have your semi-finished heart. Then I'm just going to snip off the ends. And there you have your finished heart. Now you can add more willow to it if you want to make it more chunky. Or if you're going for a walk and you spot some ivy and you might want to pick a bit of ivy, you could weave that into it as well. Or if you've got any ribbon or beads or bits of fabric or any other marvellous things that you've got lying about at home. The idea is just to spread a bit of cheer and if you can hang it on your front door or you could put it in your front garden so other people see it or in your window, um, I'd love to spread a bit of cheer around Chelston. And then once we're all allowed to go out again, we can take them along to the party and spread some more cheer. Thanks, bye. Hello again. How was that? Was it difficult? Was it easy? I bet you guys smashed it. Anyway, hopefully you've now got your finished article in Willow. And as I said on the video, if you want to add anything to it, please do. Once you've got your beautiful finished creation, please upload either some videos or some photographs of the final thing. If you can hang them in your windows, you can hang them on your front door, in your front garden, that would be great because you really want to bring everybody together and show everybody what you've been up to. Thanks ever so much. Stay safe, stay inside. See you soon. Bye.